times of trouble. He is ever ready to assist us in times of need. He is our God. He is ever present in our lives. He does not sleep nor slumber. That is our God. That is our reliable God. He is ever reliable. He is ever reliable. And is ever willing to help us in all situations. To take us out of all troubles that we may find ourselves. He is our God and is able to even prevent us from entering into trouble. Father, Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you, O Lord. We return all the glory back to you. Father, Lord, take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have worship. Amen. 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 Shall we be seated? In the Lord's uh, wonderful presence, as we bring the message for today. The title of my message today is Silence is Golden. Silence is Golden. This afternoon, we are going to look at. Um, Various reasons or various situations where our actions or inactions could potentially put us into trouble. And we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to come and teach us this afternoon when to be silent, when to be quiet. And when you want to speak out. Because there is time for everything. There is a time to speak out. And there is a time when it is most honorable to remain quiet. We are going to be looking at a lot of scriptures today. And um, I would appreciate if we are able to either quickly follow me through our Bibles or through the screen. First of all, I want us to see what the Bible says in the book of James, chapter 3, verses 6 to 10. James, chapter 3, verses 6 to 10. James chapter 3, verses 6 to 10. And I read. <coughs> the Bible says, and the tongue is a fire. Because now we cannot talk about how to know when to be quiet and when to speak without appreciating the power, the power of the tongue. So the Bible says, and the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The tongue is so set among our members that it defies the whole body and sets on fire because of nature. And it is set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and creature of the sea, is tamed and has been tamed by mankind because God has given us the power. But no man can tame the tongue. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. With it, we bless our God and Father. And with it, we cause men who have been made in the similitude of God that is made similar to God. Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. The same mouth that we use to bless is the same mouth that we use to curse. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. Praise the Lord, somebody. That is just the summary of the whole thing that we are going to look at this afternoon. And also, quickly, uh, in the books of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 21, I'm going to read quickly 
what the new international version says. The new international, international version says, the tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. And for the same scripture, in the New Living Translation, the Bible says, the tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. May we never reap negative consequences as a result of what we say in the mighty name of Jesus. So this is teaching us that through our tongue, a lot of people, they have spoken their lives into trouble. A lot have spoken their lives into destruction. And a lot of us have spoken their lives into calamity. Whereas at the same time, a lot of people have spoken their lives into success. A lot have spoken their lives into prosperity. And a lot, through what they say only, they have spoken themselves into promotion and elevation. That will be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. So we're going to quickly look at various instances when we need the Holy Spirit to guide us. Because oftentimes, we cannot do it alone. We need the Holy Spirit to guide us and to lead us to know when to be quiet and when to speak out. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 37, the Bible says, For by your words you will be acquitted. And by your, by your words, you will be condemned as well. So, the same mouth has the potential of putting us into trouble and also the potential of taking us out of trouble. So, that is why we need to know when to speak out and when to be quiet. So the first thing I want us to look at this afternoon is we need to be quiet or silent when we are hungry. That is very important. Can we look at what uh, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 17? Oftentimes, when we are angry, we have the tendency to react Wrong, wrongly. We have a tendency to say something that we may live to regret. That, oh, had I known, I shouldn't have said that. And there is a proverb in, uh, in, in Africa that says, a spoken word is like an uncooked egg. Once it drops on the, on the floor and it breaks, you can never gather it together as one leg again. It's already spread. So that is like spoken word. That is a word that you say to somebody today, 20 years later, that word is still affecting that person. So when we are angry, we need to you know, be, 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 be very slow in reacting. So the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 14, verse 17, that a quick-tempered man acts foolishly, and a man of wicked intentions is hated. So when you are quick-tempered, the tendency is there for you not to think, not to reflect 